deserve. The accounting surgeons and crew are here for you all year long, not just January to May. Whether you need tax preparation, payroll work, or bookkeeping services, call the accounting surgeons today. 434-538-0595. They offer very reasonable rates along with their year-round service with a smile. Located at 126 East Carolina Avenue in Crewe, the accounting surgeons are here for you. Phone 434-538-0595. Brought to you by Radio Shack. I need a new phone, so I'll go to Radio Shack, take their advice, and buy a Sony Ericsson Z750 with AT&T service. It has a 2-megapixel camera, FM radio, and a web browser, so I can surf the Internet. And then one day at a car dealership, I'll find the price of a car too high, but the salesman won't agree, and he'll throw me a challenge, and he'll get me the car for free if I find it for cheaper, so I'll use the Internet on my phone, find it for cheaper, and get it for free. And I'll owe it all to Radio Shack. Don't just buy stuff. Do stuff. See your local Radio Shack dealer at Southside Electronics, Blackstone Square Shopping Center. And we're back here at Miller Field. I'm John Hart, along with the rest of the Southside Sports Network crew. Welcome and a beautiful day for baseball. 6-2 to two right now, Epp Supply leading over Dunright Construction. But they, uh, they led one time 6-1, to one. been their biggest lead, but Epp Supply has kind of been able to come back a little bit. I mean, Dunright has been able to come back, correct that. And with a 6-2 to two lead now... And they're going to keep pitching um, Jackson, Chanel Jackson is uh, pitching. So now here comes Al the pitch. He winds up and delivers it. And that's going to be a little bit low. Ball number one, one ball and no strikes. So we're looking at uh, one ball and no strikes here. And... Bad ball comes back to the pitcher there. And now everybody's just kind of kicking around. It's not quite ready yet. Now I think everybody is ready. Here come now the pitch. Here comes now the windup by Jackson. He looks, throws the ball. And a nice swing, but a miss, though. And I'll be in there for strike number one. No balls in one strike. Get up, Big G. Come on. 0-1 oh now is the count. Here comes now the pitch. This one's going to be a little bit high. Now being it for ball number one. So one ball and one strike. I'm not sure if he's got two balls on him or not. I had two balls, but I thought I was wrong. But Anyway, let's see what happens. That was going to be in there for ball number three. Actually, ball number two, they got up on the scoreboard. So three balls and one strike now is the count. And I believe that's going to be official. So with a two and one, here comes the pitch. A little bit of gust of winds going. You can see the tree branch coming in there. I'll take care of that though between the two games that are coming up. But beautiful day here at Miller Field. Not a cloud in the sky. Well, way up there in the stratosphere somewhere. Three balls and one strike. Here comes the pitch. And way behind him. And now we'll put the runner on. And I believe that's going to be, I want to see that's Ben Atkinson. That might be the top of the lineup. Yep, it is. So Ben Atkins will be coming up. Evan Dowling will be on deck. Runner on first base with no outs for Dunright. I mean for Epp Supply. So here comes now the windup. And a hard hit ball. And that is going to be foul in there for T. Wright, number one. Ben chopped that one a little bit. But anyway, he ended up being in there for a strike. Went foul to the... Down the third baseline. Here comes down the next pitch. That's going to be way outside for ball number one. One ball and one strike. 
I want to say once again, thanks for joining us on the Southside Sports Network at www.wpxonline.com. Hard right, hit ball. He chopped that one again, and that one will go foul, but just barely. Didn't, wasn't very far off the mark. I'll bring up strike number two, one ball and two strikes. And that was kind of getting close. One ball and two strikes now to Ben Axe, and Downey will be on deck. And then you got Tyler Borm and Tyler White, the two Tylers. Runner on first base for up supply. Here comes down the pitch. And way behind, that'll be ball number two, two balls and two strikes. 1.30 here at Miller Field. But it's still a beautiful day out there, just right for baseball. Here comes down the pitch. And way high, ball three. I want to say it's about 82, 83 degrees out there. Almost a perfect, just a perfect day for playing baseball. Not too hot, not too cold. Three balls and two strikes. Runner on first base for up supply. Here comes down the pitch. And this one's going to be low again, ball number four. And that's going to be a base on balls. Runners now with no outs. Up supply's got them on first and second. So Jackson's got to settle down just a little bit. Chanel Jackson, he's pitching. Here comes down the pitch. He came in for uh, DeMars, who started off the game, played pretty good for three innings. There's that pesky tree again getting right in the way of our videos. Oh, now we're back. Now there it is right on the left-hand side. Outside, that'll be ball number two. What did he do, swinging the ball? I didn't see him swing. Must have because I'll bring up strike number one, one ball and one strike. Ebb Supply is trying to hold on to an undefeated season so far in this year. And that'll bring up ball number, let's see, ball number two, I believe. Two balls and one strike now to Mr. Downey. Tyler Bourne will be up next. And that one's going to go right behind him. Ball three, three balls and one strike. Doesn't get very pretty for a done right because Tyler can hit, Tyler White can hit. Here comes down the pitch. That one's going to be ball number four, and that puts Evan Downey on base. And Tyler Bourne will be up. Big number 23, Tyler Bourne. Any base. And here comes the, Any base. the catcher. As you can see, the catcher there and the Pitcher is kind of consulting together. Trying to figure out what that squall is down there. Don't know. Now, yeah, nevertheless, comes and goes. Call it my little Tweety Bird. All right, here comes down the next pitch. And that one's going to be in there for, let I me mean, get back to the right. I'll be in there for ball one. To Tyler Bourne. Runners on first and second for up supply. Crowd kind of getting a little quiet here. This game is still not over. Here comes the next pitch. And that one's going to be in there for ball two. Two balls and one strike. Lions and Chamber is going to be coming up. Chamber. Kind of got beat kind of bad last night by the uh, law, uh, by Rotary last night. But they're going to come back with a vengeance today, and they're going to be ready to win. Lions, they're trying to get back into the league here. They've had a couple of bad losses. Hard hit ball. Tyler Bourne chopped that one. And then it goes to third, third base, and it's going to be he is out of there, I believe. Or did he? Yep, he is out of there. That'll be out in number one. So that was a close call. I didn't get over in time. But apparently the runner was coming from second, just didn't get over in time. They were able to tag him out. So runners on first and second base here now for Epps Supply. They got one out on a good defensive play. Here comes Jackson now, Chanel Jackson. Pitching for done right. Now here comes the pitch. And that one's going to be a little bit low. 
in there for ball. Well, I got ball number three. He must have tried to stole. I don't know what happened there. At any rate, here comes now the pitch. And now being in there for ball two. Two balls and no strikes now. The big Tyler White. Tyler White can, I'm waiting for Tyler White to actually maybe before the season's over to hit one out of this park. Here comes down the pitch, but he swung way high at that one. I, you know, he had two, he had two balls and no strikes, but I think Tyler just wanted to hit something. He don't want to walk. He wants to hit. What he ended up doing, he kind of swapped that one, kind of chopping wood, as I say. That'll be two balls and one strike. Here comes down Chanel with the pitch. And that one's going to be down. And now here comes the runner that was threatening to go to second. Three balls and one strike now is the count. So we got runners on first and second for Epps Supply. They got one out. And Epps Supply is leading seven to two. And the run came in. Here comes now the pitch, way high, and that'll be ball four. That'll be a base on balls, and that just loads up the bases once again. Runners on first, second, and third with bases loaded. Bases loaded, one out. With one out. And uh, plays upon probably be at home. It'd be nice to get that leadoff runner and get that second out. All right, here comes now the pitch. Chanel looks, winds up, swing and a miss, strike one. Bases are loaded for Epps Supply. Chanel Jackson now looks. He winds up. Here comes the delivery way high. Now being in for ball two. And everybody's kind of threatening to go again, and they kind of go back and hold up. I thought that was, must have swung at that one. I didn't see him swing at that one. Anyway, he swung at that one. That'll be strike number two. One ball and two strikes. Now bring up a very important second out. Jackson would like to get his done right team out of this one if he possibly can. He's got bases loaded right now, and he's down seven to two. Here comes down the pitch. That's going to be way high. Does not drop in. That'll be an air for ball number two. And two and two is the count. Two balls and two strikes. So with a two and two count, here comes the pitch. And that one's in there for strike number three. And that brings up an important second out. Oh, a nice pitch by Chanel. So now all they got to do is back to the any base. They said it plays at first, but whichever the closest base, just tag it before the runner gets there and you're home free. More a matter of speaking. Here comes now the pitch. And that one's going to be outside, ball number one. Joe Jackson likes to call that thing a strike about right there if he can. Here comes now the pitch. And that one's going to be outside. I'll be in there for ball number two. Yep. Get my pointer back. Anywhere in this area. He'll call it a strike. Here comes now the pitch. Way outside. And everybody's just going to stay still. You always worry about that runner coming in. But everybody's going to stay still on the bases. And now bring up three balls and no strike. And a run and a walk is going to run another runner in. And that'll make it eight to two. Here comes down the wind up. Here comes down the pitch. And he hit the runner right on the head. I thought he hit him on the head. I thought he hit him on the head. Well, I guess he didn't. Okay. Three balls and one strike. Must have been a no pitch then. Here comes down a pitch. That one's going to be high ball four, and that's going to bring another runner in. And there he goes. So this runner here scores. That'll make it eight to two. 
Eight to two, Rep Supply leading here in the fourth inning. So McCaleb is up. Um, yeah, that's what they were saying. There she do for a hit. She can hit the ball if she gets if she gets the bat around on it. We've seen her do it. We'll see what happens. Chanel Jackson now looks and takes aim. Now he pitches. Here comes the pitch. That's going to be high. I'll be in there for ball one. Chanel's had a little bit of a problem sometimes, kind of hitting balls a little bit too high. Maybe it's a case of the nerves or whatever. But if, she, if that ball comes down into the strike zone, she can swing and she can actually hit the ball. And what a better time with base loaded. Here comes Jackson out with a pitch. And that one's going to be close, but not close enough. A little inside for ball number two. Two balls and no strike with two outs. Dunright leading eight to four here in the fourth inning. Jackson now looks. Now here comes the wind up. Here comes the pitch. Way outside. Now being there for ball three. And Caleb Elvis may get on first base. And now being up after that, honey. Hunter, Russ, Hunter Morgan will be on deck. See if she walks. 3-0 pitch. I should be waiting on this one. And that one's right down the middle for a strike, but I don't blame her for waiting. So three balls and one strike. With two outs, here comes now the pitch. Jackson winds up and throws it, and that's going to be inside. Ball four. And that's going to put Kate McHale up on base. There she is right there. And that will one, rock, walk another run in. That's 9-2 to two in favor of that supply over Dunright Construction. So right now, they're going to call a timeout. Here comes the coach right there out. And... Oh, now a little bit of mix-up. <laughs> Looks like the Dunright coach was a little bit frustrated. So that brings up Hunter Morgan that's going to be, uh, Hunter Russell, excuse me, Hunter Russell. Hey, what are you doing, coach? All right. He's a left-hander. Here comes now the pitch with the tree in the way, and I'll be outside, ball number one. Think you're gonna be able to come to high school Bases are still loaded. One ball and no strike with two outs. Runners on first, second, and third. Here comes now the pitch. And it's a hard hit ball. This one's gonna be fair. And is they gonna to try to throw it home? And do they get him? Yes, they do. And that brings up the third and final out. So as we go in now to the bottom of the fourth, it's 9-2 in favor of that supply over Dunright. We shall be right back right after these messages. These are not your ordinary doctors. They are the accounting surgeons. Allow them to show you the personal attention it takes in order to receive every single deduction you deserve. The accounting surgeons and crew are here for you all year long, not just January to May. Whether you need tax preparation, payroll work, or bookkeeping services, call the accounting surgeons today, 434-538-0595. They offer very reasonable rates along with their year-round service with a smile. Located at 126 East Carolina Avenue in Crew. the accounting surgeons are here for you. Phone 434-538-0595. And we're back here at Miller Field, and that's going to be the ball game, and that ends it. So the final score, Dunright, um, Dunright, uh, well, actually, Epps Supply stays undefeated. And uh, anyway, final score was 9-2. to two. And... From uh, over Dunright Construction, that fly went and remains undefeated. So I'm John Hart. We will talk to you later. Stay tuned, folks, in a little bit. We got a chamber going up against the Lions that's coming up next. 
Don't go away. Talk to you later.